everyone. It's Monday, July 10th, 2023. I am Doug. It is time once again to play some Wordle. The Mad Murph writes in, starting word suggestion. Uh, you said you really doubted the answer was going to be hater. Yeah, that was a puzzle from a couple of weeks back. So the starting word should be doubt. Ah, oh, I see what you've done there, Mad Murph. Uh, an interesting way to get to a starting word, and I like it. Let's go with doubt. Uh, what do we get with doubt? We do get a letter, and it's in position, the O. So, okay, I will I will take that is a decent start. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, hmm, doubt. So where do we go with the doubt? Um, lots that we can do. How about, and we'll do another eval word here. Uh, how about the word share? Let's share the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> and see what develops here. Share, wow, she, look at that. Five amazingly quality letters all grayed out. Uh, so we only have one other vowel possible. That's an I. Of course, there's a Y kicking around. There's a few other common letters. So maybe we go with one more eval here. Um, and we, uh, I suppose, let's see, what could we try? Um, hmm, <laughs> we could try, there's a few different possibilities. Um, maybe I re I could reuse the O, I suppose. That's a possible situation too. Um, hmm. Wonder, like, uh, the OI could be something that could be happening. As much as I'd love to try the word point, we've tested the T. I'm really kind of looking for something that's going to be a possibility and a good eval. Um, of course, that might not be practical here. Um, hmm. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit torn as to what the right strategy will be here. Um, you know what? We could try five unique letters. There's a couple ideas. Here's one that I kind of like here. I like the word for eval pinky. Uh, that will get me pretty quality uh, stuff to eval. I would take the I and the Y uh, and evaluate those. Uh, so I'd be down to either a word with O's. Maybe a double O is in there at some point too. Uh, but I think pinky will give us something that we need. So I'm going to go with pinky for eval. Let's see what develops here. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, the I's ruled out. So we have the O and the Y both in position. Both in position. So now here's where it gets a little interesting, right? I see a few possibilities here. I see a number of them. Uh, one would be coyly, C-O-Y-L-Y. One would be folly um, as well. Uh, I suppose lowly is another example. Oh, so there's a few possibilities here. So I right off the top, I see coyly, folly, and lowly. Uh, is there anything I can do that kind of narrows it down well? We do have three guesses left. I can see at least three good possibilities. So coyly tests C and L. Folly tests F and L. Lowly tests L and W. So there is, so the, I think lowly is the best bet. It points me to two of the, th it, 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 if it's not lowly and it's one of the other two, lowly will tell me which one it is. So I think that's what I want to do because lowly would have two L's as would folly. So I think strategically, the way we have to play here is go lowly next. Of course, we're hoping uh, that we're not missing other possibilities, but we can only do so much. <laughs> so I'm going to go with lowly next, and it could be the answer. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word lowly? No, it's not, but look at that. O-L-L-Y, we have that locked in. Uh, and now let's take a second here. We have two guesses left, but now here's a concern, right? Well, we know it's not lolly because the L is yellow in the front spot. So that's off the table, right? 
Uh, we have Golly. We have Folly. I don't think Kali works, C-O-L-L-Y. Don't think that's going to be in the word list. Uh, Molly. Uh, I believe Molly is not just a name, but a possible word. So that means we would have three possibilities with just two guesses. So Molly, Folly, or Golly. So I think to protect ourselves... If we accept a six-guess solve rather than take the chance of not getting it all. Uh, so we have Jolly. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I just realized we're in deeper trouble than I thought. Folly, Golly, Jolly, Molly. I guess v Volley, V-O-L-L-Y. I, I can't decide. I don't think... I don't think Folly or Collie. I think I rule Volley and Collie out. But now I have F, G, J, and M is possibilities here. So what I'm needing to figure out, the save for us, is if we can find any five-letter word that has three of the letters F, G, M, and J. So let me take a moment and just think to myself here. Um... Hmm. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, I don't want to be stuck with potentially a 50-50 at the end, but I'm worried about that. Um, if we assume it's one of those four, we can safely test at least... We can cover at least three in the two guesses with an eval that covers at least two of FGJ, but we could theoretically be stuck flipping a coin on the sixth one. That would be... That would be uh, nerve-wracking. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. And, I, you know, like I said, um, I, I, I'm going to play this. I mean, this is a, a, a book. If I can't think of it, I can't think of it. Off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of a word that covers three of the four. So I might be stuck having to gamble here. Um, I'm going to regret that because I'm sure the comments will be full of words, or at least a word, that test three of the four that I didn't think of, and I accept that. Uh, again, I'm, I I want to do it on the up and up here. Um, and I feel like it's got to be something with F, G, and M. Uh, gamut, um, like fuming is six letters, obviously, so that doesn't work. Um, oh, my goodness gracious. I guess I have to – I mean, I'm going to have to settle for – I'm going to have to settle for uh, the coin flip, which is I can go with two of them all day. Like we could go with um, you know, might. I mean, it does any any word with two letters. Uh, and there's a 50/50 chance we find the answer with it because if either M or G light up, we're home free. Ah, oh, boy, I know when the, this is going to be one of those days where, win or lose, the comments are going to be like, you should have thought of that word, and that's true. I know I'm going to get that, and that's fine, but this is this is what it is. I don't use any, um, I don't use any artificial methods or phone a friend or anything, so I can, I can test two of them here. So we have a 50-50 shot of being clear. If neither M or G light, uh, we got ourselves a coin flip between Folly and Jolly. On the sixth guess, the river, if you will, to use a poker phrase. All right, here we go. Uh, please tell me something will light up with might. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And so we're at folly and jolly. I'm going to have to flip a coin here. Um, I'm going to have to flip a coin, and we're either going to survive or we will have our, I believe... I feel like it would be the first uh, misstep in 2023. I could be wrong. It'd definitely be the first misstep of this season. Um, so, look, I, we can't sit here all day. We got to pick. I'm going to pick. <sighs> Both of them feel like word awards. That's the problem for me. Folly and Jolly. Both of them feel very good. Um, oh, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to pick. I'm committing to folly. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 
is the answer to today's wordle, the word folly. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Woo. That was that was too close for comfort, folks. Oh my goodness. Well, there you go, Mad Murph. Uh, bet you didn't think you were going to get yourself into that sort of a situation with me. Uh, woo. Right on the river, they say. To use a poker term. We want a coin flip. So there you go. Uh, that's why you got to watch every day. You never know what's going to develop here. Uh, we got it right at the end. That was as close as you get to uh, a miss on the show. And we got it. So there you go. Thanks again, folks, for watching. Uh, it's only Monday. <laughs> we got a long week ahead. Uh, so be back tomorrow and we'll play some more Wordle.